Miss Pearl, may I please talk to you about something that has been on my heart? Why, certainly, Susan. What is on your mind? Miss Pearl, is sex bad? The room became quiet for a second time this day. The girls raised their eyebrows, trying their best not to laugh. They made every attempt to help the frustrated school teacher keep her dignity. Pearl did everything she could to maintain a calm disposition. Poor Susan looked so desperate, and Pearl certainly did not want to embarrass her. What do you mean, dear? I've been told all my life that sex is a shameful act, and women who like it are bad girls. My mother told me that it hurts a lot, but women have to do it if they want to have children. I figured I wasn't missing out on anything, so I decided to be a school teacher. Harmony was enjoying the conversation. My grandmother told me it was like jumping up and down in a wash tub. <laughs> Lately, I have been having these feelings. I have started kissing my pillow at night and looking at the buttocks parts of men. Sometimes I even look at the front. I have been praying to God for forgiveness and even ask that my evil thoughts be taken away. But it's only getting worse. I'm kissing my pillow more than ever. I have been having fantasies about the father of one of my students. His wife died last year, and ever since then, I daydream about what it would be like if he kissed me and held me. I am a sinner having impure thoughts, and I don't know what to do about it. Pearl nodded her head at Susan. Girls, this is our new friend, Susan. Hello, everyone. When my mother told me about sex, she was most gracious. She told me that when a man makes love to you, it is like dancing in a field of flowers that all open up at the same time. I learned the hard way that she was right. That is, if you are making love to someone who loves you and you love him. Otherwise, it is just a sporting event that can sometimes be fun or sometimes not, depending on your partner. Like Joe Bob. You are right about that, Maggie. That cowboy has some real talent. Personally, I've learned there are three kinds of men. Those who know how to make love to a woman, those who think they know how to make love to a woman, and those who don't care one way or the other as long as they get what they want. Look at nature. Every living thing on this planet comes from some kind of seed. Every animal is here because of a male and a female. Some animals include a dance when they procreate, and some are even playful like squirrels. When sex is performed as an act expressing the most intimate love between two people, it is a beautiful gift from our Creator. The procreative dance can be both playful and passionate at the same time. When sex is sacred, it can be the most exciting experience in the world. My husband Robert and I had that. Pearl tenderly touched Annabelle's shoulder. Annabelle hardly ever spoke, but when she did, people listened. Billy and I had that too. Closing my eyes and pretending I'm with him gets me through. If it were not for our baby girl, I probably would have given up on life altogether. Men saw her as exotic and mysterious. Those who knew her well recognized her silence was due to her broken heart. Sarah was daydreaming. You are right, Annabelle. You can be with anyone you want to be with if you close your eyes. I like to pretend that Rudy Valley is singing to me. Mine is Rudy Valentino, the Latin lover. He was so sexy and son of the chic. I don't know. I like to keep my eyes open and look straight into the eyes of those blue-eyed cowboys. Some of them are so dang pretty, I can never decide which I like better, watching the cowboy walk into a room or walk out. I've seen some mighty fine backsides.
Sometimes I fantasize about Rudy Valentino as well, Redbird. Maybe it's because of those chic condoms we always use. You know, they named those things chic from that sexy movie he was in. I like the Merry Widows myself. They come three to package. Lord, where on earth did they come up with that name? That's easy. Women have sex for different reasons when they become older. Sex is so much more enjoyable when you are not afraid of getting pregnant. When a mature woman has a good lover, sex can be better than ever. Unfortunately, sometimes the older men have a more difficult time keeping up. Nature is a little backward as far as that goes. However, a man can become a more sensitive lover with age. What are condoms? It's like a balloon you put over a man's happy stick to make sure you don't get pregnant or some kind of weird disease. Oh my! Did y'all know that during World War I, the soldiers were allowed to use condoms for the sole purpose of not spreading disease? Apparently, our men in uniform didn't pay much attention when they were told not to have sex. Turns out condoms also work pretty well in helping women not to get pregnant, even though technically birth control is against the law. In fact, just a few years ago, a woman named Margaret Sanger was arrested in New York for passing out brochures on how not to get pregnant. Oh my goodness! I have never heard anyone talk of such things! I like it! You know, Susan, in the olden days, there were some school teachers and librarians who used to make a little money on the side doing what we do. They'd lift their skirts just high enough to reveal those sexy striped stockings the girls in Storyville wore to signal to the men that they might be willing to leave their back doors open for a price. Things have changed so much since my days at the Everlay Club. It doesn't seem that long ago that we were riding in trains and horse-drawn carriages. Now we have motor cars and even planes. Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is more delightful than wine. It's in the Song of Solomon. I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. He grazes among the lilies until the daybreak, and the shadows flee away. Very good, Sarah. I read the Bible, too. I will read the Song of Solomon tomorrow. It sounds so poetic. So, sex is not a bad thing? Of course not! I love sex! Me too. It's such a double standard. How come when a man wants sex, he's a stud? But if a woman wants it, she's a bad girl. I don't think it's fair. I think I want it. I want sex. There, I said it. I want sex. Yes! The school teacher wants sex! The school teacher wants sex! I want to kiss a man and feel a man. I want to snuggle up and cuddle up. I want to excite him and be excited. I want to take him to the land of milk and honey. And I want him to take me to the promised land. I want sex! I want sex! I want sex! I want sex! 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 Ginger, who rarely even smiled, applauded her with encouragement. The others followed suit and gave Susan a standing ovation. I've never felt so free! No wonder women don't like you! They don't understand you because they don't understand themselves. You're free. They all say you are horrible sinners, but you are free to be sexy because that is who you are. How old are you, Susan? Twenty-eight. Of course you want sex, Susan. It is perfectly natural that you want sex. God made you that way. To deny it would be denying that you are a woman. Good for you, Susan. Say it again.
I want sex. I want sex. I want sex, sex, sex. I love men, and I'm not ashamed to say it. Me too, especially those cowboys. I love a Texas gentleman, especially when he appreciates what I have to offer. <laughs> I want to smell a man, kiss a man, feel a man. I want to turn him on and get him hotter than a frying pan. Here's to all of you. Here's to the Lady Pearls of San Angelo. Everyone in the room held up their glasses and cheered. Here's to the Lady Pearls of San Angelo. I come from high society. I spend my afternoons sipping tea. And we talk about the way that things should be. But I've got secrets I'll confide I kiss my pillow every night And I pretend I have a man's hands all over me I have, cause if they did, they would think that I'm bad. There's a hot loving woman inside of me. I wish that I could set her free. I wanna feel a man. I 